two hours maybe in the garbage. I'm not going to stay two hours in the garbage. Who are you? Stop speaking to me. I'm not. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome to the Build Up, the show about shows between the shows. I am Shannon. And you know what? This is just a good, good time, okay? We have the cast of Skyscraper here. Who's excited for this summer's hottest thriller? Yeah! Huh? So exciting. <laughs> cast of Skyscraper coming oh, right up. We're so, so excited. One of the reasons why I'm so excited for this movie is I'm actually a huge fan of skyscrapers. I mean, who isn't? Oh, I mean, have you seen them? They're big. They're made out of um, things like metal. Steel. Glass. Ah, oh, windows. People go inside them. There's, like... Buildings. People come out of them. They live there. They They're work. Like vaginas, when you think about They're it. They're exactly the same as really big vaginas. All right, so <laughs> thank you. So we're gonna play a really awesome game right now. It's called Skyscraper Trivia. Woo! Are Get you guys hyped. excited? Come Get hype! Get hype! Hype it up! That's right. That right. man just got really excited, and that's what I want to feel. All right, we're going to need one volunteer to come on stage and help us play Skyscraper Trivia. Let's get a volunteer. Anybody? Skyscraper! Come on up, come on up. Oh, come on up, come Here on up. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Skyscraper Trivia coming up, coming up. He's actually coming down from a skyscraper. It's yeah, taking a while. Yeah, he's coming up. Hey, All right, what's up, what's up man? Yeah, there. come right here. How's it going? Doing good. How are you guys? What's your name? DJ. 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 Hey, man, what's your last name? DJ. DJ, DJ? DJ, DJ! <laughs> that should actually be every DJ's name. Yeah. Hey, Have you thought about being a DJ? No. Not interested at all? No. There's no What do you want to be when you grow up? Just like you. Like oh, me? Well, yeah. A nobody? <laughs> oh my god, that's so sweet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're like, I did this not know her really self-esteem was that low. We just had like, a beautiful, tender moment. Shannon's yeah. okay. All right, we're going to play Skyscraper Trivia, man. We're going to show you a skyscraper on the screen. We're going to okay. give you a multiple choice. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. Let's go for the first building. Okay, great. As everyone can see, first building, is it A, the Empire State Building? Is it B, the Sears Tower? C, a very tall pen? Or D, the Chrysler Building? Hmm. Well, since my first initial choice with a D, I'm going to go with D. The Chrysler Building, he's exactly right. Good job, Wow. Still, everybody that knew. So good. You're definitely going to grow up to be me someday. Yep, very smart. Awesome, man. Oh, dude, he's complimenting the shit out of you. This is so nice. I'm going to cry. <laughs> yeah, he's right. having a great day. Before I lose it, let's uh, check out this next skyscraper. Ooh, oh, this one's a little tougher. Yeah. All right, is this A, Skynet Headquarters, Ooh. B, the Robot Building, C, lots and lots of Legos, or D, help that building has eyes. God, help us all. That building has eyes. Help us. Help us. God, please help us. Help us. Hey, Jesus, please help us. Help us. Which one is it? What do you think? Again, I'm going to my initial trust with a D. I'm going to go with D. Oh, God. Oh. Part of that actually is okay. almost correct. I mean, it is scary. That building does have eyes. It does look like it's going to rise up and take over the whole world and kill all of our water supply. Yeah. But it's actually the robot building. Did you guys know that? It's in Bangkok. So we're learning things today on the Build Up. Also, yes. it's in knowledge. Yeah, DJ's learning. We're all yeah, learning. Yeah, this uh, show is super educational, and I know DJ knows that. Yes, very. All right, next one. Let's go, DJ. DJ's killing it. Ooh, this is an easy one, I hope. Oh, let's see. Yo, is it okay? Is it A, the Empire State Building? B, King Kong's house? C, the purge during brunch, or D, I don't care for buildings. I'm more of a grass person. <laughs> Which do you think it is? I'm gonna go with A. Dude, DJ Whoa. is killing it. Give it up for DJ. Does that mean your name is gonna be AJ now? Possibility. You're right? I met AJ from the Backstreet Boys at a Hooters. They have great chicken. <laughs> Somehow they're still Yeah, they open. do, right? And they have amazing waitresses who help you. Yeah. They're actually, yeah, they're actually in the healthcare industry. Yeah, yeah. it's true. <laughs> you can go there to get an STD check. Yeah. I get tested all the time. All right, <laughs> all Jen, time. next question. All right, next building, check it out. Ooh, what is that? Oh man, think about it. Look at it, what kind of skyscraper is it? A, the Woolworth building. B, Elon Musk. C, Amazon the River, not the company. <laughs> we're not dumb, okay, we're not dumb. Or D, a tall Starbucks drink. Whoa. Mm, what's it gonna be, DJ? DJ? Mm. That's a tough one. DJ? 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 DJ?
I know that's definitely Billy Crystal right there. And I know George Marathon is a very, very tall human being. He's playing the NBA, so I'm going to go with that. He's exactly right. Give it up for DJ. You killed it, man. Whoa. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I hope one day you have your own skyscraper. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Whoa. And we're, Thank you. Catch out, DJ. Up. He will be DJing later here tonight. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Wow, I'm so sad now that DJ's gone. Can we get one more volunteer? Anybody, guys? Can this we get is really another fun. DJ? This is a very... Can we get DJ back up here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyone, one more volunteer? Anyone, Come on, guys. Person, anybody. Please, don't make us beg you. We're so desperate. Please, anyone, please. We love it. I need we to love feed skyscrapers. My kids, please. My kids are so hungry. Please, yeah, Shannon help has me. 17 help kids. Me. Help me. Shannon anyone, has kids. Anyone, anybody, right anybody. Oh, my God. DJ, come okay, back. Okay, DJ's actually please coming back. back up. Give it up for DJ again. Thank Woo! you so much. Thank you, man. DJ, right. I have a quick announcement. Uh, we're going to be adding you to our payroll because oh, yeah. you're Absolutely. just that good, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, DJ, mm -hmm. you are, in fact, going to be running builds. Okay. <laughs> DJ, we have a couple more for you. Next, okay, next one, please. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that, I mean, that's Ooh. scary. Let's see. Is that A, 40 Wall Street, B, the Upside Down, C, Shannon's First Date, <laughs> or D, a very, 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 very exciting Old Navy? What do you think? Do you think I ever get dates? Quick question, side question. Do you think anyone ever asks me out on a date? Anything's possible. He looked up. He looked you. He really yeah, checked he, you out, actually, aggressively. Like, there was a long pause. Yeah. And I was worried. I was worried he was going to yeah. say no, but thank God he came through. Okay, fine, great. So, what is that? Wall Street, upside down, Shannon's first date, a very, very, very exciting old Navy. I think I'm going to go with Shannon's first date. Wow, that's actually correct. It is actually yeah. Shannon's first Guys, date. It Shannon's was first scary. date was in, yeah. You can see me, I'm on the ground, and I'm just like, why? Why did I bother leaving my house? My cat loves me. Shannon only dated on MySpace, that's why. Yeah. That's what happens. You this is the only there. date I ever got was from a MySpace <laughs> message. That, la uh, that woman's laughing way too hard for that. She's like, I hate Shannon, I hope she dies. <laughs> I will, eventually. All right, next one. We'll get one more. This will be the last one. This Ooh, is a, this, I love this building. This, this is, is a great building. building. This is really exciting. Is it A, Brendan's first date? Ooh. Yes. Uh, B, the Jersey Shore? C, Sex in the City, the Purge edition? Let's check it out. It's a good one. Or D, the Dragon Temple? I think I'm going to go with A, Brendan's first date. Oh, my gosh. That's also correct. This guy knows a lot about yeah. our dating history. Give it up for DJ. Wow, Thank DJ. you so much, man. High five for me, too. Have a seat, yeah. DJ. You're the best friend I ever had. All right, let's get DJ back up here. <laughs> DJ, come back. Come back. DJ, come back. No, no, come we're getting. We're getting. We're getting. I love DJ. All right, now, we all have secrets, right? Oh, yeah, you have secrets? I definitely have secrets. And you know what? We even have secrets about pop culture. Yeah, we wanted to create a safe space for us to air our secrets about pop culture. It's time for... Couch Confessions. Couch Confessions. Okay. When I first watched the first season of Queer Eye, I tried to cut my hair short, really short, because I thought that I had the potential to look like Anthony. <laughs> like, no, Shannon, you do not have that bone structure. Whenever I see an R-rated movie, whenever I see a trailer for a movie, and I see the rating R, and right next to the R, I see the word nudity, I quietly whisper to myself, Booyah. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah. All right. <laughs> that's, the, that's the second thing I say. In the sixth grade, I gave myself a rat tail because I was obsessed with Taylor Hansen. And everyone knows if you love somebody, you should try to become that person. Isn't that right? That is right. Do you think rat tails are sexy? Pretty much. I think we have a chance. Hi. I'm over here. Hi. I'm right here. I'll still be here. The movie I identified with most growing up was Fight Club. Now as an older guy, the movie I identify most with is book club. I like wine and old women. Okay. <laughs> connection. Wow. I love connections. I love connections. Do you want to know who my number one celebrity crush is? <laughs> it's the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt. I get it. You're like, wait, Shannon, he's a rotting corpse. That's nasty. He doesn't even have genitals anymore. But you know what he does have? 
two beautiful, juicy eyes. Blink, blink. <laughs> so sexy. I watched Stranger Things with the sound off, and the whole time I thought it was just one long commercial for Eggos. Do you like waffles? I love them. Me too. So far, I think me and you have a stronger connection. Got Nutella. This, this guy really wants some waffles with Nutella. <laughs> we'll get, we'll find them. We'll get it. Shannon. Yeah? How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking about this memory I had. You know, when I think about Alf, I sometimes forget that he's a puppet actor from a TV show. Mm -hmm. And I actually think that he's a distant family member that my family cut off because he kept on trying to eat our family cat. Has anyone tried to eat your family cat yet? Hell no. This woman loves her cat. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That was Couch yeah. Confessions. Ugh. All right, give it up for yourselves. That was great. Yeah. Oh, man, I really feel like I shared some deep truths. I know. I think you're going to get a rat tail. It's going to be exciting. We're really excited, guys. So thanks for hanging out with us here at The Build Up. We have Ross and Marshall, Thurbel, McKenna Roberts, and Noah Cottrell are all here from Skyscraper. We're so excited. Woo! Get ready for The Build. that's coming right yeah! up. Yeah, stick around. everybody, welcome to Build. I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper. The movie Skyscraper features Dwayne The Rock Johnson as a security expert assessing the safety of the world's tallest building when he discovers that the building has been set on fire and he's been framed for it. Now he must clear his name to find a way to rescue his family that is also trapped inside of the skyscraper. Today we'll be joined by director Ross and Marshall Thurber and two of the movie's youngest stars, McKenna Roberts and Noah Cottrell. But before we bring them out, let's check out a clip. is trapped 240 floors in the air. So what's the plan? Whatever it takes. We got this. Everybody put your hands together for Ross and Marshall Thurber, McKenna Roberts, and Noah Cottrell. You guys, you know, this is just like a really chill, somber movie, like nothing to get excited about. Like, no, I went and saw it and it was just like action, action from like the beginning starts, like you build a story and then it's just like nonstop. So for you, you wrote and directed this. Yep. What is going on in your mind that you came <laughs> up with this concept? Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, good question. Uh, I've wanted to make an action movie since I was about eight years old. Uh, uh, my mom took me to see Raiders of the Lost Ark at this little uh, two-screen theater in Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. And after that moment, uh, I fell in love with movies and, and, uh, and action movies uh, particularly. Um, I started uh, in comedy, and then this is uh, my first action film. And, and Skyscraper um, is, uh, is sort of a love letter to the films I grew up loving. Um, uh, Die Hard, Towering Inferno, um, you know, The Fugitive, uh, 
uh, Rennie Harlan's cliffhanger. So it's sort of uh, all of those wrapped up in, into one. Yeah, the Die Hard thing, I could kind of feel a little you bit. You picked up on that. Yeah, huh? I did, for sure. And why skyscrapers? Because, I mean, when you look at what's going on like around the world, there is this constant competition with skyscrapers, building the tallest one, the most advanced one. So I thought it was really interesting to see you use that as like the basis for the film. Oh, thanks. Yeah, well, there is sort of a... A skyscraper measuring contest, as it were, um, uh, in, in the world. Right now, the tallest is uh, the Burj Khalifa in, uh, in Dubai, and uh, Jeddah Tower is going to be uh, shortly the, the, the new tallest building in the world. Uh, Adrian Smith um, d uh, was a lead architect on the Burj Khalifa and on the Jeddah Tower, and also consulted on our film, so he helped us uh, in the design of... Um, of, of The Pearl, which is the fictional building in Skyscraper, uh, which was uh, designed by Jim Bissell, our production designer. So you're saying that The Pearl is kind of realistic, like it could exist? Sure, yeah, I mean, it's not too far off. I, I would say, you know, five minutes in the future, we could be looking at, uh, you know, skyscrapers that are powered uh, completely by uh, green technology, uh, negative carbon, car carbon footprint, yeah. Are you guys afraid of heights? I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I am too, actually. McKenna, are you? I didn't know. Um, I don't like elevators, uh -huh. so, <laughs> I, but when I get up there, I guess I'm fine, but I just don't like the ride in the elevator, yeah. I think that's fair. See, I enjoy the ride up. <laughs> really? It's like a roller coaster. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the stunts in this film. Sure. Because there are some real goodies. Um, for you writing this, I mean, do you write these stunts in your mind? Or do you then like just let a team of people kind of help you figure out like what would be the most dynamic way to do something? Uh, it's, a, it's a good question. It's a kind of a, a combination. Uh, I come up with the, the concept uh, for, for the gags, for the stunts. Um, I write them. And then you have uh, a team of people who help you execute them. And, and typically, as you start putting them together, as you start realizing these concepts, uh, they improve, they change a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the one of the signature um, sequences in Skyscraper is when uh, Dwayne Johnson's character, Will Sawyer, goes running down a super crane and jumps into the building. Yeah, right? I was going to ask about the crane jump. Sure. So uh, yeah, so that that was really early in the in the process of, of coming up with the movie. And and um, you know, when, if your family is is trapped above the fire line of a 225 story building and they're about 100 stories in the air, um, you know, how do you how do you get to them? Because you can't go in through the bottom and walk your way up. Uh, there's going to be a problem about, you know, where the fire is. So how do you do it? And uh, I went to Hong Kong and I was scouting and and um, and uh, you know it's an incredibly vertical city, a beautiful city, but uh, it was under construction. There were all these cranes, and uh, then I had this light bulb moment. I'm like, well, that's one way to do it. And that's do you think movie. that jump is possible? Like, do you think he can make that in real life? Well, true fact, um, he wasn't the one that actually jumped. I did. <laughs> Because, um, you know, I'm a professional stuntman, so <laughs> true fact. Did you guys get to watch some of these action scenes be filmed? Yeah. Um, sometimes I would stay and watch Noah. Um, I watched Noah do the bridge crossing scene, and it was really cool. Yeah, just how, like, they put, put it together and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but on the jump, yeah. Uh, so, obviously, we, uh, there's been, I don't know if you're familiar with the internet, um, but there's, it's a thing called the internet, and uh, it can be a little snarky sometimes. Um, spoiler alert. Uh, but when our first poster came out, where you see Dwayne kind of hanging in midair, um, you know, people had a lot of fun with the, uh, the, the trajectories and the parabolic arcs. And uh, yeah, it, it kind of looked like it was going to be like the most expensive short film in the history of cinema. Um, uh, but uh, our friends in marketing, uh, bless them, uh, exaggerated the, the gap <laughs> on, on that poster. Um, so it was sort of evocative of that moment, not literal. And, uh, and in the film, uh, the distance is still uh, an insane distance, but um, absolutely achievable. Uh, and kind of what was cool the other day, uh, this professor uh, at the University of Central F Florida actually did the math. And he's like, yeah, it could happen. I didn't need to do the math because it's the rock. So I'm like, that guy can do it. <laughs> yeah. He wears a cape all the time. We just can't see it. That's exactly The man right. can exactly. certainly fly. Another scene that jumps out, and I don't want, don't want to give too much away, is the mirror, the kind of plasma screen scenes. And I was just thinking how technically difficult that must have been to shoot and stage. and uh, So tell me about that. Uh, yeah, so the end of the movie it takes place in the in the sphere at the top of the building of the Pearl, which is, I guess, the literal Pearl. And inside of it, there are um, 317 motion-sensitive projection panels um, that are fed by mini-micro cameras. So um, if you're familiar with... Um, uh, 
uh, Lady from Shanghai, which is that 1947 Orson Welles picture, or Enter the Dragon, or I guess most recently John Wick 2. There's a long history in cinema of kind of doing action sequences within sort of funhouse mirror settings. Uh, and I wanted to do that, but I kind of wanted to put a little top spin on it. Um, so instead of just mechanical reflections, uh, you know, uh, they were projection panels, so they could be different sizes, different angles, um, different lenses. And, uh, and it was really technically challenging because we actually, it was a completely green environment. There were no panels. There, were, there was just an empty space. Um, and so that was all created later in a computer. But you have, to, uh, you have to have your coffee in the morning before you start blocking yeah. a scene. Yeah, we had Chin Han yesterday, uh, here yesterday, and he was talking about how like the blocking and the state and everything was so precise. You were in that scene as well. So what was that like for you? Um, it was very challenging. It was very because the like you had to imagine that they're actually there and they weren't there because they're like it's like you think they're in front of you but they might be behind you or something like you don't know yeah. so yeah which is the beauty of the scene because you don't know what's where yeah and Noah how was it for you being on a set with so much action and things going on did you ever get like afraid of anything well you know like the first day you get nervous and stuff on set but after a while you get used to it so yeah what was the most fun thing for you two? Working with me, right? It was, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely. Uh, we actually, about that I, have yep. I have to say Nev. I have to say Nev. And Dwayne. Nev Campbell. <laughs> she seems like a pretty awesome movie yes, mom. She is. She she is. She's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's amazing. Yeah, she, she really is. She's like a second mom. Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. and, and I love that because there is this real family component to the movie. You know, we get to see The Rock, who's this very obviously athletic and macho man, but there's a lot of heart in the film with him. Yeah, I mean, I think that was part of what we wanted to do. We wanted to make a heart-stopping kind of action picture, right, and heart-stopping thrill ride, but we also wanted to make something that was heartfelt. And, and what this movie, you know, yes, it's a big burning building movie, full stop. But it's also a movie about a family, uh, and maybe more importantly about a family, about a mother and father, a husband and wife who will do anything they can to keep their family together. Uh, and Noah and McKenna are incredible in the film. Um, it, you know, it's their, it's their first feature film, I believe. Um, and they uh, and they just performed so beautifully and were total pros from day one, uh, more professional than some people on the poster. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, they were just incredible the whole way through. So it was really about a family. Yeah, why was that important for you? Because I know it probably, I would imagine, helps kind of like broaden the film a little bit to other audiences a well, little bit. Sure, I, I mean, I think that... that um, yeah, well, I think I think that kind of heart is important in, in any film, but but especially an action movie because if you don't have heart, if you don't have um, characters you care about, if you don't, you know, in, in our case, a family that you care about, um, then it's just a bunch of explosions and noise, uh, and and nobody can love that. I don't care how good it is, um, and but but uh, you know, in spite of like the big tall building and you know super crane jumps and fire and smoke and height and all that stuff. Like the most powerful things are, are you know, the scene with Noah and Nev when they're crossing the bridge together and you can see how much they love each other and how, how scared they are of what they're doing. And at the end of the film with, with uh, McKenna and Dwayne, um, you know, caring for each other and holding each other tight in, in, a, in a very dangerous situation. Like that's the stuff that matters. That's the stuff that makes people love a movie uh, and want to see it over and over again. And I, I hope we've made it. But it's a real credit to these, these two and the other actors in the cast. Good job, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like having Dwayne Johnson as a movie dad? Um, he's very cool. <laughs> yeah. So he's cool. Dad. He's cool. He's yeah. cool. Yeah. And so is Nev. They're very cool and nice and, and the funny. questions about Dwayne. <laughs> and, and what about yeah, and Ross? Of course, movie. he was. Um, he was okay. He was a great director. <laughs> Thank you. He wrote a he wrote and directed a great film, Thank you. and um, we're so thankful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Does being on a movie like this make you guys want to do like some action movies where you get to do your own stunts and Definitely, stuff? Definitely, yeah. yeah. You know, I do gymnastics and I dance, so like I like doing like running around and doing stuff like that. So it was really fun doing the stunts. And, and also, these guys were fearless. Like you know, we put them in some pretty <laughs> perilous situations for even a seasoned actor. And and uh, and you couldn't uh, you couldn't pull them away from from the stunts. We had stunt doubles, uh, and we used them where we legally had to. Uh, but Manoa and McKenna wanted to do every single stunt themselves, uh, unlike Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> He's just, he's just so afraid, you know? He is. He's a big 
big scaredy cat. <laughs> Speaking of Dwayne, yeah. um, obviously you wrote and directed this, and then he's the star of it. So how did that relationship form? Uh, well, well, the first movie we, we made was a movie called Central Intelligence, which is my last film, and that was I loved that movie. By oh, the way. Thank I laughed you. so hard in that movie. Oh yeah, he was so funny in that movie, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I uh, appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so that's where, I, where Dwayne and I first worked together. He'd seen that movie I made before and uh, and liked it, and he wanted to make a comedy, um, and so we teamed up and and and, and with Kevin and uh, had a great time. And while I was finishing Central Intelligence, uh, I came up with the idea for Skyscraper, and um, I called him up. And I said, hey, I've got an idea. And he said, what is it? And I pitched it to him. And he said, I love it. I'm in. And then uh, I, I, you know, we developed the idea together. I wrote the script. And we went and made the movie. And will you guys be working together in the future? Uh, yeah, absolutely. The, the next movie I, uh, I'm making is a movie called Red Notice. Um, and we, uh, it, it stars Dwayne Johnson, Gal Gadot, and a third actor yet to be named. But we're going to announce that very soon. Uh, we're all excited about it. And we start shooting um, May 1st. The movie comes out uh, June 12th, 2020. And I just started writing the script a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's a big international heist picture. Um, kind of a Ocean's Eleven, um, True Lies, with a little bit of Thomas Crown Affair thrown in for good measure. So it should be a fun one. I think Dwayne is just our our action star of this era, really. I mean, we've had like the Sylvester Stallones and you know Van Damme and all these people. He really is the guy now. So how fun is it for you to kind of get to live out your childhood dream with the guy who is now like our action hero star? Oh, I mean, it's the best. Uh, you know, I, I guess the thing I'd, I'd like to say about this is, you know, Dwayne is, uh, you know, the biggest star in the world uh, for a reason, and and his action films, I love them. Um, but I guess what I'm most proud of in, in this film is that he um, he does something different. And in a lot of his movies, he's you know he's essentially a superhero without a cape. He's you know functionally bulletproof, um, <laughs> right? Uh, but but in this one, he's he, he's vulnerable for the first time. Uh, he's you know he's struggling. He barely survives. He's broken and battered and bruised and uh, and won't give up. I mean, you see a, a different side of Dwayne, and that's what we've been hearing from early audiences. Just like they've never seen him like this. It's his best performance, and uh, I know he won't toot his own horn about it, um, but he should because I know how hard he worked on it to get it right. He plays an amputee in this movie, uh, which is um, which we've never seen before in cinema. There's never been uh, an amputee hero, uh, especially one on the poster, and uh, you know we're really proud of that. So this movie has action, it has heart, and it also has humor. So was it fun on set for you guys? Like, what was the vibe like? Did you get to laugh too and in between all the action and the fire and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. We had um, so many funny moments on set, like a bunch of jokes. Roland Muller would Roland always Muller. scare everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the first movie you guys have done? Yes. yes. Oh, my God. So what is your, like, now looking back on your experience? Does it make you want to do more movies? Of course. Of course, yeah. It's, sure. It was unbelievable when I actually booked it. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be in the movie with The Rock and Nev Campbell. <laughs> so it was really cool. I love that. And we mentioned the humor, duct tape. I'll never look at it the same. <laughs> when in doubt, just use duct tape. When in doubt. It's like with the, the Big Fat Greek Wedding, it was like Windex. After that movie, yeah. like Windex took on a whole new meeting. I yep, think with yep. this, duct tape will be viewed differently. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Yeah, it was... Um, I guess we should have tried to get product placement beforehand, right? but no, it yeah. just was part of the script and it was part of, um, well, it's part of basically like, you know, we've all seen like Dwayne punch out a giant werewolf and, you know, we, we all know that can happen. <laughs> and in this movie, um, I just wanted him to think his way out of problems. Uh, you know, you can't really punch a skyscraper effectively. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, duct tape is part of like, you know, ingenuity and in trying to solve a problem in a, in a, in a different way. Um, I personally like duct tape a lot and it solves a lot of my problems and it seemed like, why not? It will be in any go kit I make going forward. <laughs> it should be. Like just it, throw it in there it first. It should be, it should be. So many know. uses for duct tape. You can't fix it with duct tape. It can't be fixed. All right, now I think it's a good time to open up to the audience for a couple of questions. Who's sure. first? Are you? Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm such a huge fan. I saw your movie, and I can't watch it again. I, I really <laughs> wanted to ask you all three of you a question. Who would you like to work with, the, the actor or actresses who you like to work with in the, in the near future? Denzel Washington. <laughs> Good choice. Solid choice. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, um, Dwayne Johnson, because I never met him. He seems like a nice guy. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> he was just CG the entire time, so... <laughs> Yeah, Denzel Washington. I'm just going to follow after her. <laughs> now, if I don't say Denzel, I seem like I don't like Denzel. Uh, well, Denzel Washington. Um, uh, I've been a Tom Cruise fan since I was a little guy, so uh, one of these days, if I'm lucky. I mean, given the action movie, yeah, you can't really... Never say never. Yeah, that would be fantastic. I'd love to see that movie. 
Uh, thank, thank you for your you. question. Thank, thank you. you. Do we have the next one? Hi. Um, I actually got to see the film as well. I thought it was really good. Um, I was just wondering, uh, what was the decision behind making Dwayne an amputee? Like, did you do any research on, on that? Yeah, uh, thank you. It's a great question. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of research, actually. Um, you know, and the more... Um, well, certainly, uh, uh, you know, the, the first thought that, to my mind was, you know, I want to see Dwayne Johnson in a way I haven't seen him before. I want to make him vulnerable. Um, and... and um, you know, and Dwayne's back is as wide as a coffee table. It's really hard to kind of, you know, make a guy that size um, uh, vulnerable. Uh, so I think it sort of started there. But then the more research I did into the the world of amputees, the the more fascinating it got, the more inspired I was. And, and as I talked to more and more amputees, uh, the thing that I took away the most was that uh, most amputees that I spoke to felt like uh, their life was better after their amputation than before, that, you know, they would lose a leg and, and then go run a marathon, or they would, you know, lose a limb and, and climb Mount Everest, um, and, and that they, they took hold of their life in a different way after after their uh, supposed misfortune. Uh, I found that incredibly inspiring. I mean, I've got I've got two legs. I've never run a marathon, uh, never climb Mount Everest. I don't think, I don't know if I ever will. Um, you know, and so to me, it was uh, incredibly inspiring. And, and then more important, Importantly, um, you know, we wanted to to pay homage and respect to that that community, uh, and like I said earlier, it's never been done in a film before, and so that part got me really excited. Like, you know, this is going to be a first time in cinema uh, where the, the lead in an action movie uh, um, is an amputee, um, and then I, and then Dwayne worked so hard um, to get it right. Like, he spent a lot of time studying um, how you walk, how you run, if you're missing, um, you know, uh, your your leg below the knee. Um, and he actually had a um, a uh, prosthetic shell made that he wore on his leg uh, the whole time that we shot. Even when, like, even when he was wearing pants, and he wouldn't see it. He just wanted to make sure that he remembered uh, uh, what he, what his character was going through, and 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 wanted to wanted to get it right. It was incredibly important to him to get it right, and um, we're really proud of it. So, thank you for your question. And one last question. Hi, um, I wanted to uh, wanted to know um, since uh, one of your uh, Earliest works was uh, were, uh, were the Millers. Um, I was wondering, would you ever uh, consider uh, developing a sequel for it, or are you uh, just focused on action films now? Oh uh, well, my, my next one's going to be kind of an action heist one. So in the near future, certainly that. Um, thanks for your question, by the way. Uh, yeah, we're the Millers. Uh, you know, we had a great time making that movie, and uh, it seemed like people people enjoyed it. Uh, and we actually have a script for a sequel. We we worked on it. We were planning on it, uh, and then th it was just a function of scheduling. Um, Jennifer Aniston is a very busy person. So is Jason Sudeikis, and I've just been making um, Dwayne Johnson movies as fast as I can make them. <laughs> so it's uh, so it's really just a function of scheduling. We had a great one. It was sort of set in uh, Christmas time. It was kind of a very Miller's Christmas, uh, which seemed like the right thing to do, you know, um, kind of send up the Christmas uh, vibe with uh, with uh, everybody's favorite fake family. Um, <laughs> so I'd say never never say never, but, uh, but um, you know, it, it's a function of scheduling. So thanks for your question. Thank you. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing all the future films we're working on. And this one was so fantastic, guys. Skyscraper is in theaters this Friday, July 13th. Give it up for McKenna, Noah, and Rawson. Thank you very much.